Okay, today we're going to run this uh, SuperTech do a demonstration on a uh, STP618 model C2. This is a three axis automatic surface grinder. It's a six uh, by 18 inch chuck on here. This is a new uh, Suburban tool link and a um, walker, looks like a new walker uh, chuck controller. All right, the machine is completely off right now. We're going to start it up. We're going to put it on. It is for 40 volts, 460 volts. We start our power here, and our little screen comes up. ST SuperTech surface grinder, and uh, you get a screen up here with your grinding cycles. You, know, you can do a plunge grind, which is simply a wheel going down each time the table reverses, either on the left side, the right side, or both sides if you choose. Uh, there's a crisscross type grinding. Um, and also a regular surface grinding where you step across as you get to the end of the part. Uh, those are the two we're going to be showing you. So we'll go and uh, we'll start the machine, start the wheel, and we'll start the hydraulic unit, which is at the back of the machine here. Next to the machine with a connector plug and two hoses. And I'm off. Okay, to start the table, we open here, and this is also your feed. And of course, you can feed this down or down uh, in the hand mode. Also, uh, a finer down feed with this knob here. Uh, you can work your cross feed by hand as well as your longitudinal feed by hand. All right, so to do an automatic cycle, your machine has to be in the off position. All the way over to where it says off and it's red, and I'm going to select plunge grinding program and then the next page here will is our grinding program so in this case our total amount of stock removal will be one thousandths and we're going to feed uh, the coarse increment at point uh, at 1.2 thousandths each each step until we get down to a changeover point of one thousandths above final size and then we're going to go to a fine increment of two tenths when we get to uh, zero we're going to do three empty spark out passes and we're going to add an eleven thousandths of clearance or one one point one one thousandths of clearance uh, just as a safety there's also a parts counter on here and a cycle time so uh, we go into the automatic mode and we press the cycle start you'll see that it comes on yellow or orange and as we start the table we will feed down at 1,002 each step until we get to a thousandth away. And then it sparks out and let's do that one more time. Have to shut the table off. Start. Have to take off the, the ten thousand, and that's it. It goes back and goes back uh, to that clearance amount of, of 0 0.0011. The cross feed program, we go back to the main spindle or the main cycle and select uh, step grind, and uh, we have to shut this table off, start the cycle, and then different about this is we have our saddle moving now. And this will feed down the appropriate amount going to the program at each table reversal, uh, saddle reversal rather than table reversal. So each time this changes direction you can feed either in the back or in the front or in both cases. It's a little easier to see what's going on here. Now we're going to, each time we're taking off one Point two thousandths. Which is this course increment.
and we see we're coming up on a thousandth from being ten thousandths, so it's going to go into its fine feed, which is a tenth. Now we go in the tenths column. All the way down to the total stock removal of ten thousand. Now we've reached the final size. The next couple of passes of the saddle is just going to be a spark out, meaning there won't be any longer any down We we'll go there and back. Three complete times because I have I have a three in here. And they ask if you want to retract. That's what that extra that's what that extra value that can <coughs> the end of the cycle. The wheel backs up a little bit. It takes off the amount of stock removal plus uh, a little extra. So there you have it. Uh, coolant tank is over here on the left. Uh, it's got the pump on the bottom and the tank. And this has a system here where when you come out with your plumbing, uh, you'll be able to drop it onto your water onto this paper and you can filter out a lot of the sludge and it'll go down into the tank and then come back around again and you can remove this paper as it gets clogged. Uh, it's pretty convenient. It's not automatic, uh, but it's, it comes with the machine. You can see here that we have oil. Uh, when you first turn it on, the pressure builds up and the lubricating oil gets up on top so that it, it lubricates the ways as well as the uh, saddle ways. There's a uh, large